do so um, in our, you know, two and a half minutes together. Perhaps we could um, touch a little bit on what you do very briefly, since we haven't ever been able to um, have a conversation yet on video. Um, what is all this yoga anatomy stuff? Uh, well, Yoga Anatomy is the title of the book that I co-wrote with uh, Ed Matthews, uh, who also runs in New York City our studio called The Breathing Project, uh, where we, okay, where we uh, basically are uh, what I would call a secondary level uh, education center for yoga teachers. They come to us after they've been trained and have had some experience teaching yoga to learn things like uh, anatomy, kinesiology, embryology, all of that. And uh, uh, that's turned into uh, expanding those classes uh, to the rest of the world through our online courses. And that's been one of the most exciting things we've been doing, is putting all this material in an online course format that people can take from anywhere they are in the world. A couple of years ago in New York, after the Yoga Journal Conference, I think uh, you showed me a couple um, old photos of yourself in different kinds of outfits, different hairstyles. Well, you what? can style here when you actually have hair. Right. At this point, right. um, this is the default. Right. I'll yeah. be right there with you. Yeah. Um, so, um, maybe you could touch on your yoga path. How did it begin and, and uh, how did it wind up with <laughs> yoga anatomy? Uh, well, briefly, uh, I was originally trained by the Shivananda organization. Uh, some of you are probably familiar with them. They have a booth back there. Uh, when, when was that? 1979. When were you born? 74. Okay, so you were five. Um, and uh, I did the teacher's training back then with Shivananda. I actually got very deeply involved very quickly with the organization. I became a Swami, you know, one of the guys in Orange. Uh, they sent me to LA to run the center there on Sunset's trip, which is very interesting in the early 80s. Um, I didn't last that long as a Swami. I lasted a little bit longer as the center director. But when I left the organization, uh, I stayed in Los Angeles and ended up working at the International Sports Medicine Institute, which is still there, um, run by the same guy, a uh, chiropractic orthopedist named Leroy Perry. And I started to learn a lot about the body. And um, the initial effect it had on me was it scared the crap out of me, and I stopped teaching yoga. Because I started seeing all these x-rays of people's spines, and it was nothing like the anatomy books I was studying. Because anatomy books are drawings, you know, and they're idealized, and they look perfect. And these spines were anything but. And I tried to picture those spines doing the asanas I could teach them, and it just scared the crap out of me, and I had to stop, honestly. And it, it took me a while to gain the confidence in uh, both the body itself and its durability, and my skills and knowledge as a teacher to teach something that um, I felt was uh, safe and effective. So I was having this safety conversation about yoga way back in like 1982, 83. That's been the number one article like last year in New York Times from a different angle, but yoga can hurt your body or whatever. Um, yeah. And you, you had to come uh, back to yoga, I guess, from the ground up, from the point of view of anatomy or science. Yeah, yeah, and, and um, you know, I, I've had my yoga career wrecked several times. That was the first one. The second was when I met Desi Char and he taught me to breathe from here to here instead of from here to here. And that screwed me up royally for about six months, couldn't even take a deep breath. And then I had to figure out, wow, anatomically, what just happened to me. Right. I'm trying to do that right now. Yeah. Well, it's easier to do it if you balance on one foot, because then you have to use your abdominal muscles and you can't take a belly breath. He's just messing with me. He just likes to put me in awkward poses. Well, I'll do the Hillel thing. Ask yeah. me a question and I'll answer it on one foot. Okay, um, can we still call you Swami Leslie? No. All right. I was never Swami Leslie. I was Swami Brahma Swarupananda. Swami Rama Swarupananda? Brahma, Brahma Swarupananda. Swarupananda. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So well, <laughs> I kind of blew time management here, but um, we'll have to do it again properly. Yeah, I have on the other foot, so soon, oh, please. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, do you want to do the other foot right now? Next time. Okay. Yeah. Let's